Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of 8 PC Game Reviews, and today I'm playing Hero Academy, an online turn-based strategy game. Uh, first off, there is actually sound in the game, but as you'll see, the sound is very loud. Yeah, I can't really talk over it very well. And there's no volume control, so, you know. Uh, there's also no settings for screen resolution, as you can see, so you're stuck at whatever crazy resolution the developers picked for you. Uh, so it doesn't have all the features we expect in a PC game. It's five dollars. Uh, and I'll talk about why I think it's five dollars here in a little bit. Basically you get a team of people, you put them out on a grid, and then you give them move and attack orders and try to eliminate the other team. Uh, before you start playing, there's a tutorial, uh, which is pretty decent. There's a game guide, which is an HTML and a tips video. In addition to that, there are challenges for each of the five uh, teams in the game. Most of these are exceedingly difficult. Usually it gives you a uh, uh, one turn basically to defeat all the other people like this right here. You know, how are you supposed to knock out this many people in five turns? I mean you get a knocks all enemies so I guess you gotta get him and he has some sort of yeah, explodes so there something like that although that didn't really explode did it yeah yeah so there you go most of these are very hard, and you got to figure out there's only one solution to them. So you get the sword deal. That's the only single-player content. You can't actually play the actual game against uh, the computer. Uh, you can customize. It gives you short descriptions of all the different teams. Uh, you can pick your uniform colors, but only if you give them 99 cents, which... Uh, the teams you also have to buy separately. The base game is $5. Each of the additional races or the teams, it gives you the council and the Team Fortress people for free, which I think, honestly, the $5 you pay is just for the Team Fortress team, basically, and the base game is free. It's free on mobile platforms. Uh, and then you got to pay the same amount of money for the entire game to unlock one additional race, or you could spend $15 and unlock everything. So... You know, the question is, are you evaluating this as a $5 game or a $15 game? I think, you know, three times the cost is the significant price margin. Uh, so, let's go into the game. Since it is turn-based, you can play multiple games at once. As you can see, I have multiple games going on here. Uh, and you can, you know, swap between games. So what I'm going to try to do is try to do one game as the academy or the council in one game is team fortress see here it pulls up all your steam friends it shows which ones actually have hero academy uh or you could challenge people on tw search through twitter or search for random plan i'm just going to do random so i'll do you can see the little buy icon here five bucks each please uh so i'll do one as council and then i'll do one as Team Fortress, and hopefully there'll be enough people online to play it. One interesting thing about this is that uh, it's cross-platform multiplayer. Like, I'm playing against probably people that have the iPhone or iPad version of the game, which is pretty cool. Uh, it obviously expands the player base and, of course, gives them an advantage because they've been playing the game forever, and I only you know started doing it when it came out on PC. So hopefully one of these... Uh, two people will uh, do their turn. Basically, each turn you have five moves that you can spend moving units, attacking units, or bringing units onto the battlefield, or equipping units with items. Uh, if we go back here to the home... Uh, let's see, where is it? I think it's under challenges. No. Nope. Customize? Yeah, of course. Of course under Customize. So like here for the council, it shows you get basically 24 people. These games are 28 people. It's 24 for Team Fortress. These games last way longer than I thought they were going to. 
that it takes at least an hour to finish one game, which was far beyond my expectations for something on a mobile platform. I thought it'd be five minutes, kind of like Frozen Snap sort of length. But you can see here what it does is it pulls up six random things at a time, and you can pick which ones you want. But everybody gets the same things in the end once the game's finished. You can see here what all this stuff does. So you have, you know, basically melee, ranged, all that stuff. Uh, whenever it's your turn, it gives you a notification, the notification uh, bar in the bottom, you know, of the screen. It also flashes the window if you're not paying attention, if you have another window active. So and here's the Team Fortress thing. It just gives you two of everything. So uh, let's start playing, shall we? So I'm going to start. This is the one I just started. So he went first. He's playing Council. I don't know which game I knew. So you can see I have 22, 23, 24, 26, 28 things. And I have all wizards which is a range spellcaster. You can see here it has a specific type of damage. It's either physical or magical, like this guy. Sometimes they have defense, like this is defense against magical, which is very unfortunate for me. Uh, and then, like, weapons permanently increase his power, and it has revive potions and stuff like that. So I'm going to move him out to there. Uh, there's no diagonal moves. I think this would have worked better as a hex-based game, to be honest. Because uh, it counts like a diagonal move as two spaces. So so I'll submit that turn, and then it'll give me two more things, because I played two things out on the... There we go. So there's that game. So my other game, this one should be the Team Fortress one. So he's got... a. Uh, magical guy and a physical guy. So here's my little Team Fortress people. So I'm going to spawn my spy here who's invisible at long range. I'll probably do my soldier here. And that's your turn. So only five moves. So you know with all these different... the one one thing I like is it does have a lot of unit variety. There's lots of, like, the engineer uh, buffs friendly units and the scout uh, hops back when he's hit and all that stuff. So at least has that going on, so that's pretty neat. Uh, the spy basically does one-shot kills if you attack from behind, if you're able to sneak around. So I'm going to kind of keep him hidden up here for a little bit. And then you get a sandwich for healing an ally. So basically you just make five moves a turn and then you either eliminate the whole enemy team, which would take a while. As you can see, you know, it still have tons of people left. Uh, you know, like I said, most games take about an hour to finish. Uh, or destroy all the enemy crystals if they're camping or it's near the end of the game and you need to clean up. So uh, while I'm waiting for them, I'll show you. Let me see if they've done anything yet. Nope. So you're at the mercy of the other people to, f to play quickly. I'll show you this older game that I've done. This one's pretty far along. I'm red, so of course I'm losing badly. There's a lot of really powerful units that you can buff up, like this guy. Uh, you know, that makes it really difficult. And I don't have a healer for her. When people get killed, you have one turn to heal them, and then they disappear. Or the enemy can stomp on them by moving to their square and then remove them from the game without healing you. So I'm going to use this spell on these guys here. Haha. -ha. I really need to take this person out. They got 450. I have 300 attacks. I need two. Let's see, he can move two. So here, here, and then should be able to take her out in two moves, I hope. 250. Why is that not full? See, you always just barely miss. 50 health, but she'll be able to heal everybody back. So that's awesome. Unlike Frozen Synapses, this isn't simultaneous. It's, you know, it's I go, you go, so you have to wait for the other person to finish their turn. Which is kind of annoying. So now I'm just waiting for everybody else to finish. I have all these active games going, uh, just waiting for other people to submit their turns. 
I found that five, like if you had six turns, you could actually like eliminate powerful units from the game. But with five turns, it's exceedingly difficult to do it uh, without using sneaky tactics, which you usually don't have enough room uh, moves for. So, I mean, as a five dollar game, it's it's decent enough. It doesn't have. Uh, I don't think I think it's pretty simplistic. The graphics, the units are neat. Like they're well animated and stuff. The as you can see the maps are pretty bland though. Uh you know, they have deployment squares and places where you get attack and defense bonuses and get bonuses for attacking the enemy crystal and stuff like that. But uh you know, they're pretty static, I think, because it's primarily designed for mobile platforms, so they didn't make the graphics too awesome. And it has some replay value because it gives you a random assortment of units and stuff like that. I see this game's pretty much at its end because I don't have any more units. Uh, so, you know, on the mobile pl I think this is obviously they released it for mobile platform for first. This is more designed for mobile platform. As a $15 game, that's kind of stretching it for a price point if you wanted to unlock everything. $5 game, it's something you could kind of test out and see how it is. So if these people finish their turn. All right. So what do I want to do here? This guy has physical and magic damage. What's her range? Three. So one, two, three. I'm going to buff her. So now she can cost 450, which is should be enough. Uh, except he has. Oh, that should be enough to take him out. Unfortunately, next turn she's just the other person's just going to move their support healer up here and revive him. So, like I said, if you had one more turn, I could, or really two more turns, I could move up here and stomp him out of the game. But can't. So I'll swap over to the Team Fortress game here. Oh. Well, he's a little chickadee, isn't he? Does he have magical? No, he doesn't. I don't have any way to buff him, though. Alright. Can I take him out? No, he had a shield. I can still take him out, though, I think. There you go. All right, there's my turn. <laughs> there you go. I think I kind of like the... I don't know, the Team Fortress people are pretty interesting. I don't really have a favorite team between the two. You see, I'm kind of alternating between them while I play. So while that's waiting, I'll show you a couple more of the challenges. Uh, let's just go pick one at random. So I've got to knock them all out with fire basically the fire attacks a three by three square so Let's see if it attacks friendly no it doesn't at 320 and take them out with that there you go Yay, I'm awesome. So, you know, it'll take if you figure out the solution, it takes you like six seconds to to beat this. So well, that's dumb. So you can see all the things. That's gonna take too many turns. But anyway, you get the idea. I'll show you the tribe. One of the ones I actually beat. So here you gotta deploy. Let's see. The healer explodes. KO any wounded. Let's do that. Oh, let's see, I gotta go that way. So some of the units have interesting abilities on the hike. Take the rest of these guys out though. Oh, you know. 
Eh, you got the idea. Let's say these other things are done. Here's my game that is basically over. Yeah, I just revived that guy. I'm pretty much screwed in this game. You know, 480 damage is ridiculous. And I'll have a healer. Alright, what do I want to do here? You can teleport to allies. So I'll use him next turn. Submit. So you can kind of swap between games. It's kind of the point. I don't like that guy. He annoys me. Heal time. I'm going to move him back. Jarate. I'll probably submit a couple more turns. I mean, you get the idea of the game. So. Let's see if anybody submits. We'll go back and do a couple more challenges and see. Let's do the dwarves. We haven't done the dwarves. Okay. How much health does this have? 1350. The crystals have really, really, really high health. What's your attack range, too? Eh, of course not. Yeah, see, it's insanely difficult. You gotta think about it. Hmm. Can I turn sound on for a little bit just so you can... Oh, can I? Oh, no, I can't. It's only during a game. Well, when I go back to the game, I'll turn sound back on. Yeah, let's do that then. Hello. Oh. Well, that was kind of silly. Oh, I see. Does it on the following turn. And there's no way I'm doing that. Alright, you guys play yet? There we go. Turn the sound on here, if I can. Just so you can hear the catchy music. I really want to take out that healer. 800 health. You can screen units with other units, which is what I'm doing here. Is screen yours. This unit is very annoying. I wish that that hadn't happened, to be honest. Sniper is actually pretty useless. It causes like a hundred damage.
Actually, let me not. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You got the idea. Um, I like the unit variety. The unit animations are good. The, you know, other stuff isn't as much. Uh, Five dollars, take a chance. You know, you get two races. I don't like the nickel and diming with the DLC. I don't think it really has that much long-term replayability. Just, it's relatively simplistic. And the games are way more drawn out than I thought they would be. So, uh, that's Hero Academy. And until next time, bye.